Hello, this tutorial is to design a class in Python that stores the information about a student like roll number, name and age. With a constructor to initialize the data members and a display method to display all the details. After that we have to accept n number of students details by using the objects and display all the details of the students in ascending order of names. So we need to sort the objects depending upon the name of the students. We create a class named student. A class in Python can be created by using the class keyword followed by the name of the class. Here we have used the name of the class as student. The class begins with a colon symbol. The constructor of a Python class is written with a name init init. The constructor and the methods of a Python class. The first parameter is a self that represents the current object by which the constructor or the method is getting called. Inside the constructor, we use three parameters roll number, name, and age to initialize the instance data members roll number, name, and age. A display method is used to display the values of the roll number, name, and age instance data members. The instance data members of a class can be accessed by using the self variable. So we have three data members, role number, name and age. All the three data members can be accessed by using the self variable. Outside the class, since we have to create number of objects for the student class. To store the student class object, we use a list. So a list has been created with the name st. To accept the number of students, we use a variable n and the value of n has been taken from the user. Now n number of students details has to be taken from the user. So we have to use a for loop. So a for loop is written as for i in range of n. So the for loop will get repeated for n number of times because i will take the value from 0 to n minus 1. So inside the loop we accept the details of each individual student like we take the roll number, name and age from the user by using the input method. Each time the loop will get repeated, the roll number, name and age of one student will be accepted and it gets stored into the variable roll number, name and age respectively. Once all the three values of a student has been accepted, a dynamic object for the student class will get created and it will get added into the list which is created. So a dynamic object is created as student with the parameters roll number, name and age because the constructor of the student class will totally take the three parameters. And once the object has been created, it will get appended into the list. So list will consist of a number of all student objects. Now we have not given the names for the student objects. The student objects can be accessed from the list one after another with the index. The index of 0 will be the object of the first student. Index of 1 will be the object of the second student from the list.
Now all the student object which is created and stored inside the list ST has to be sorted depending upon the name in ascending order. For the purpose of sorting we are using two different variables. The outer loop variable with the index variable as i which range from 0 to n minus 1 and another inner loop with the index variable j whose value will depends upon i which starts from i plus 1 up to n minus 1. Each object's name will get compared with the upcoming object's name like st of i dot name if it is greater than st of j dot name that means the current name is greater than the upcoming the next neighboring object's name then there is need of an exchange of objects so the objects get exchanged between each other by using a temporary variable tmp so st of i will get stored into tmp and st of i will get replaced by st of j and st of j will get later replaced by the temporary objects which is stored so once this for loop will get repeated and execution is over all the objects which is there in the list st will be ordered depending upon the ascending order of the names so by using a for loop the details of individual students can be displayed by calling the display method so we use a for loop for displaying each individual students details as sti dot display so here st is the list and by using the index we can access individual objects of the student which is stored in the list execute and see the program output from the user we accept three students roll number name and age So once the details has been accepted, during the display we can see that the student's information has been displayed as per the ascending order of the name. Thank you for watching this video.